Hey everyone, Steve from OS Training here, and I'm going to give you a quick introduction to the new media features that are available in Drupal. Since Drupal 8.4 was released, they've brought in some media features right into the Drupal core. For many years, this has been the number one complaint that people have had about Drupal when we've been teaching them. They have wondered where the media handling was, where can we store videos, where can we store tweets. We can't even embed them, we can't do much with them, it's limited compared to something like WordPress. Well, finally, Drupal's got around to dealing with that, and we're going to show you how media is handled in this new version of Drupal. It is a little bit odd, so follow through the video carefully, and we'll introduce you to some of the unusual things that Drupal is doing with media in this initial version. So first of all, if you go to the Extend tab in your Drupal 8.4 site, you're not going to find the Media module anywhere. It's actually hidden. At the moment, you need to go to get one of the extra Media Entity modules. So there's a Media Entity Facebook, a Media Entity Document, and in this video we're going to be using Media Entity Twitter. Once you download and install that extra add-on module, then everything will start to become clear. So in this case, I'm going to need the latest version. It's just an alpha version at the moment, so the media is just being launched, it's still, uh, the kinks are still being worked out. But I'm going to need this Drupal 8.2 alpha version, and I'm going to install that module to my Drupal 8 site. I scroll down, I find Media Entity Twitter, click the Install button, and again there's a slight glitch at this point, but you can skip this over. The most important part of this is the message underneath. You must enable the Media module to install. Would you like to continue? Well, yes I would. Click Continue, and if I scroll down, I should see that Media Entity Twitter is available and can be enabled. If you scroll down, you'll find that the Media module is still not visible. It will be visible in future versions of Drupal. What we need to do now is go through the process of setting up our content. I'll go to Structure, and I'm going to start this process at Media Types. There are image and file media types at the moment. I'm going to add Twitter. Click on add file type. The name of this media type will be Twitter. Description. This is where we store our tweets. And for the media source, I'm going to choose Twitter. Now, it is possible to use the Twitter API, but it's not necessary. And you can also extract more information from the media, such as the ID number of the tweet or information about the user. You can create an extra field and you can store that in addition to the tweet itself. But uh, I don't really need to do that. That's more, more advanced than in this intro video. So I'll click on Save. And there's one other thing that I'm going to need to do and that is to click on Manage Display and for the tweet URL instead of simply showing plain text I'm going to show the Twitter embed. Okay, so, so far so good. We have a Twitter media type which is now the equivalent to file and image inside our Drupal site. Let's go ahead and make a field so we can actually use tweets on our content. I'm going to go to Structure, Content Types, and for Basic Page, I'll click on Manage Fields, and I'm going to add a field. Now, the field type is going to be Media first and foremost, and I'll give this a nice logical name. I'm going to call this Twitter Field. So we're going to add a field called Media. The label is going to be Twitter Field. Save and continue. Save the field settings. I'll check the Twitter box and then click on Save Settings. And I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the media type. 
I'm going to go to manage display and for the Twitter field I'm going to change from showing the label to showing the rendered entity so that means it's going to show the media type exactly how we set it up just a few moments ago in the previous step. One thing to note is that Drupal 8.4 is not quite ready for us to create tweets as we're creating nodes. What we need to do is create them in advance. So it's a little clunky and we hope this will improve in a future version of Drupal. We're going to go to the content tab. We're going to click on media. Click on add media. Click on Twitter. And the name of this, let's call this Drupal 8.4 tweet and this is going to have its own URL on our Drupal site, this individual media item. So let's call this Drupal 8.4 tweet. Okay, and now we actually need the URL of the tweet. So I'll go to Drupal's Twitter account. The Drupal tweet team have actually taken the link from one of our posts about Drupal 8 and the new media features. So I'm going to copy the URL of that particular tweet and we'll use that. So let me go down into the tweet URL box and there we go. We have a URL that we can use. It's a Drupal 8.4 tweet and as I've said we've created it in advance so that we can use it when we create our content in a few moments. There we go. So this new media entity has its own URL, it has its own published date, it has its own author, it can have its own revisions. It really is a full entity as far as Drupal is concerned, which means it, ha it has almost all the same features that nodes and comments and other core Drupal features have. Okay, so we have the tweet, we have the embed active on our site. Let's see it added to a basic page. We'll go to content, click add content, we'll click basic page, and let's call this test node with a tweet. And I'm going to search, there we go, there's a tweet that I created earlier and I can attach it to this basic page. Click on save, and there we go. There is the full version of the tweet embedded in our content and this is going to get better. So this is a process that has a couple of glitches at the moment but with each version of Drupal over the next six months it's going to get better. This is the text version of this tutorial and at the moment there are ten different media modules available. There's a document, an image, an audio, a slideshow, video embed field, Twitter, Instagram, SlideShare, Facebook and inline entity form modules available. All of those work with this new media feature. And if you want to keep a list of all the modules that are available, because we're going to see a lot more over the next few weeks, bookmark this URL. I'm going to add a link below the video so you can click it and bookmark it yourself and each of these modules is going to have a check mark when it's ready to work with the new Drupal features. So that's it. That is the new Drupal media handling. We're going to see a lot of improvements over the next few months. By the time the Drupal 8.5 comes out we may see a fully fledged media library so you can actually browse for media and just click and choose them and drop them right into your content and you also should be able to add them directly while you're creating a node. I hope you enjoyed this and if you look forward to more of our Drupal videos click subscribe or click the like button. Thanks guys!